Hello friends, this is Joe Sama from San Diego. Give this one a shot on your own by hitting the pause button and we'll do it together. All right, I hope you tried it on your own. Uh, there are five cars to be displayed in five parking spots with all the cars facing the same direction. Of the five cars, three are red, one is blue, one is yellow. If the cars are identical except for color, how many different possible arrangements? Uh, so the way to tackle this guy is, first of all, just imagine it said there's five cars and five parking spots and how many different arrangements of the five cars are possible. Forget about the you know, three red for now. We'll, we'll address that uh, later. So if there's five cars and there's five spots, and then we want to know basically how many different like possibilities are there. And in the, the way to, to calculate this is so there's five spots, and then uh, there's five different possible outcomes for the first slot. And then once one of those outcomes are taken, then right, there's four spots or four outcomes for the second slot, then three outcomes for the third slot, and then two outcomes for the fourth spot, and then one outcome for the last slot. Uh, and then we would actually, to figure out how many different permutations there are of all of these, we would multiply all of this. We call that five factorial, all right? Five times four times three times two times one. Let's see, five times four is 20, three times two is six, and then there's one. So 20 times six is 120. So there's 120 different possibilities. If so, that's that's the answer. If it just you know, if it just said there's five cars, how many different possibilities? But there's that little qualifier of the five cars. Three are red. So if three are red, and we don't care what order those are. The the what I what I want you to do, kind of like uh, to think about this like philosophically. There's 120 different possibilities. Let's just pretend it said there's there's only two that's red. So of the 120 possibilities, right, there's always going to be like half of them. There's the, the red one will be in front of red two, and the other half, red two, will be in front of red one. Of that 120, half of the times, you know, the red one will be in front of the red two, and the other half, the red two, will be in front of the red one. That's the, you know, the breakdown. There's two groups. So that 120 of all those 120 permutations, we would divide it by two, there'd be two groups. So there'd be like 60 different ways. And it makes sense because 60 of the, half the time, red one is in front of red two, and then the other half of the time, red two would be in front of red one. So then the answer there would be 120 divided by what we call two factorial. It's, it's you know, two times one, 120, that would be 60. But they didn't say there's two, there's, they said there's three. So the way to calculate, well, how many different groups would we, would we have if we have three of them red? Uh, the answer is it would be three times two times one or three factorial, which would be six. But I don't want to just tell you it's three factorial. I want to explain it to you. So imagine there's three red cars. We have red one, we have red two, and we have red three. It's three red cars. And then basically the 120 different permutations that we came up with up there, on some of the time, right, we would have red one in front of red two and in front of red three. Like that's the order, like red one would go in front of red two at some point and, red, and then there'd be red three. But sometimes we'd have red one and then these two would flip and we'd have red three and then we'd have red two. Uh, let's see all the spots. So sometimes red two would go in front. And so red two would go in front and then red one and red three. But sometimes we'd have red two up front and then we'd have red three and then red one. And then uh, let's say red three is in the front of the order of the six in some ways. Then we'd have red one and red two. And then sometimes we'd have, I guess, red three. And then these two would flop. And then red two and red one. Geez, how many are there? There's two there. There's two there. There's two there. So there's six different ways. Um, but instead of, you know, that would be very burdensome to do it always this way. Uh, the way to kind of figure out how many subgroups there are of, of all of these 120 possibilities because there's three of them, it would be three factorial, right? Which is three times two times one, which is six. So of that 120, we would we would lump them into six groups. So the answer would be 120 divided by three factorial, which is six. I'm sorry, <laughs> bad math there. Uh, 120 divided by three factorial, so it's 120 divided by three times two times one, which is 120 divided by six, which is 20. Uh, so that's the answer, actually. That's it's the answer is 20. Just so you, you know, I want to challenge you, right? Let's say there was, uh, the question said there's four identical red cars, right? I don't want you to do all of this. How many different groups would that 120 go into? Uh, it would go four times three times two times one, which is uh, 24. So there's like 24 different ways. So 
if the question has said there's four identical red cars and only one other you know other car then there would be 120 divided by 24 different ways okay so i guess that would be five uh if there was four identical red cars all right uh you will get better at these i promise just keep doing these uh hit the button right here to practice some more of these okay friends and uh, you'll get better i promise <laughs>